hi it's me and uh, this video is gonna be a little bit different because in this video as the video progress i'm gonna tell you uh, what are some of the basic and different steps i'm taking to create this vector art so let's go so at first i created a blank canvas of 2500 into 3000 pixels of 300 uh, resolution So in this step I just pasted the picture of the main character from Violet Evergarden and created a blank layer above uh, the main character and started masking her out. Not actually masking but creating borders with pen tool. So you might be thinking that how I'm creating these border lines just by just tracing the image. So it's quite simple. When you press P on your keyboard or use pen tool, there are two options on the upper left corner, which is path and shape. So just choose shape, and uh, the filling should be none, and the stroke should be black color, or any color you like, with the pixels, two pixels, four pixels. I'm using four pixels in there in this so yeah So after creating the basic uh, outlines of the art, I started uh, filling in with uh, some black colors. So this process is really time taking and requires a lot of patience, but the end result is gonna be flawless if you will do this step. So in this step I am creating shadows on the face and um, by using pen tool of course. To mask out extra shadows which you all can see here, it's quite simple. You find out the hair layer and press control, select the layer, it will create a selection all around her hair and then you can easily mask out the extra part of the shadows from her face. Now I'm blurring out the shape to make it a bit more realistic.
and I'm doing the same thing with the highlights, just blurring it out a bit to make it a bit more realistic. Now this is one of the hardest uh, part of the uh, art which is to create highlights on a hair because it's really really time taking. At first I tried to create the highlights on a hair by uh, color range but as you all can see it didn't work out so well it's it's really dull and not not that good seem to turn into love songs give your heart and soul to me and life will always be love i try to make it a little bit better by using different methods but at the end it didn't work out so at the end I just used my pen tool to create the highlights which took a lot of time But uh, at this step, I added a camera raw filter, which is which is not really needed. I could have just used curves to make it pop a little bit more. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Now it is time to create a background for my art. So I masked out my work and started creating backgrounds. I tried different things, I tried gradient, I tried different kinds kinds of brushes and at the end uh, these are my choices. And at the end I added my signature and uh, yeah that's it. It's quite simple to create a vector art, you just need understanding of shadows and highlights and uh, a lot of patience and you'll be done. So if you want to create this particular vector art you can do so by downloading the sources which is given in the description below and uh, share it with me on my Instagram which is also in the description and don't forget to like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel and in the comments you can tell me what what should I do next is related to Photoshop of course and check out my other videos, I recreated some of the stuff from other YouTube channels which I really really like and yeah, th those are some really really good stuff, so check it out. So, see you in the next video, bye.